Hi guys, okay, in this last video, just wanted to take a look at um, what is, what is, if we have a cyclic subspace, what is the matrix of T look like on that subspace? Okay, so let's suppose that V is a cyclic subspace C of V1. So C of V1 is just a span of these vectors. So let's take this as our basis. The powers of t times, uh, like applied at v, um, and for some silly reason, I've reversed the order, which you would naturally put, but that's okay. Okay, and now let's try and calculate the matrix of t. Well, to calculate the matrix of t, you take t of the first vector. t of the first vector is t to the m of so t of t to the m minus 1 of v, which is t to the m of v, which is just 0. Okay, so my first column of the matrix of t is all zeros. Or what about the next column? That's t of t to the m minus 2 of v. Well, t of t to the m minus 2 is just t to the m minus 1 of v. That's the first vector in my basis. So that means my second column is a 1 followed by all zeros. Um, what about t of t to the m minus 3? Well, that's just t to the m minus 2 of v. That's my second vector. So my third column is 0, 1, followed by all zeros. And it just goes on like that. The very last column is t of v. t of v is just um, 1 times the second to last vector. So you get a 1 in the second to last row of the last column. So um, this the matrix of t is a m by m matrix. Right? with ones just above the diagonal. So on the, I guess you could call it, some people call it the super diagonal, right? So just above the diagonal is all ones and zeros everywhere else. Okay, and we give this matrix a special name, we'll call it JM, for an M by M matrix with ones just above the diagonal. Okay, and now the key is, is all these cyclic vectors are subspaces, so if V is the direct sum of cyclic subspaces, then the matrix of T is a block diagonal matrix with Jordan matrices, oh, the, oh, J is for Jordan, uh, sorry. Anyways, then T is, the matrix of T is a block diagonal matrix with these, um, these special matrices on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Okay. And now we do, um, one last notation. Um, if I write JM of lambda, that just means a matrix with lambdas on the diagonal and ones above the diagonal, and it's an M by M matrix. Okay, and then the the key theorem is that um, the if whatever T is. Um, you can write it as the direct sum of Jordan matrices with the eigenvalues on the diagonal. Okay. And the proof is you write um, the vector space V as the direct sum of these kernels. You write each of these kernels as a direct sum of cyclic subspaces in, in some way, you know, however you do it. And like each cyclic subspace gives you a Jordan, a Jordan matrix with that diagonal, with that um, eigenvalue. Okay. And since you do it for each, each, each one, you combine them all, you just get a bunch of Jordan, Jordan matrices along the diagonal. Okay, so I'll stop there. Um, so in Thursday's class, we'll definitely talk about um, some examples and we'll also continue on and talk about um, the, we'll, we'll at least try and get to um, the singular value decomposition. Okay, um and, and and you know, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.